In this video, we're looking at the area of a triangle. So you may be aware of a common formula for the area of a triangle being A equals uh, a half base times height. Now that is all good, but sometimes you can't do that. And then we use this second formula that I'm about to show you. This second formula is a half AB sine C, where, as always, the way you label the triangle is still the same. Capitals are for your angles, lower cases for your sides. So, now that we know the formula, I'm going to show you how to use it. Because like all these formulas, it's very easy. Once you've labeled the triangle, you simply substitute and solve. So here we have a triangle, and we're going to label our sides. So, this time, instead of starting with our unknowns being C, uh, being A, we're going to start with our capital C for our angle. So our 63 is our angle. Then I can go A and B. Remember, always a good tip just to write down your formula before you begin. So it's a half AB sine C. Now remember, in between these, there's multiplication signs. So make sure you put them in. Now that we've labeled them and we've got a formula written down, we can substitute in our values, whereas A is 32 and B is 29. Then we have sine 63. At this stage, you just put it straight into the calculator and you get 413.4. Now, remember, this is a common mistake. You gotta remember your units. And because it's area, it's meters squared. Make sure you read carefully what your units are here. Make sure they're the same units. And when you're writing down your answer, make sure you're putting your units in that same unit squared. 